Welcome to the Design in It 9 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be looking in the Design in It Graphics Studio section of the program. Let's go there now and let's talk about what happens when you scan in something that you want to convert and it isn't quite straight on the screen. So I'm going to say File, Open. And I have a file just like that. Look how skewed this is. So this is going to be an extreme example of what to do to convert it. So I know that this is 24 stitches wide and 24 rows high. So the first thing is to set the image type. And for this, a black and white that's going to be a chart Diagram is the most appropriate, and that gives us a blue background, so we're okay with that. Next is grid settings, and it's 24 stitches and 24 rows, that's okay. And I need to say here, grid corners move independently. This is critical. Okay. Now, this gives me the ability to move my corners like this and the idea is is to move it into place and it's not going to look so out of see how it's coming in and it's it's kind of fitting it's not going to look so skewed out of place anymore we could move this a little let's pick this one and i'm going to use my arrow keys to kind of move that a little bit and I'm going to look at this one and move my arrow keys and how about this one here move that in now I'm going to use this preview conversion and it actually is coming in perfectly even though I did not scan this in straight at all now most people, it isn't going to be as extreme as this, but when you scan things in or when you take a picture of something, they don't always come out perfectly lined up. And so this is your way of doing that, is this grid settings, making sure that you have this corners checked, and then bracketing in what you want. And that's going to say, OK. I'm going to save these settings and what this says, this is going to save where this position of the grid is so that the next time I open this particular graphic file that it knows, I'm going to say yes. It's going to convert it. First, it's going to ask me what knitting technique you're going to use and Fair Isle is correct. I'm going to be knitting on my brother KH970. I'm not going to be using a color changer for this particular knitting pattern. And in designing it eight, you had to turn it on and off. But in designing it nine, you set the color changer specific for that pattern. Okay. And I'm going to change my tensions. And this particular yarn is usually about seven and a half and 10 rows to the inch. And there you go. View, repeats, let's say three repeats so we can get a better idea of what it's going to look like. And there you go. And that wasn't any harder than when we had converted it and it was perfectly straight. So, so don't worry, Designing It has you covered for making things work perfectly for you. Thank you.